This is Jennifer Manzo Miller here at the historic Hermitage site. And I'm going to be doing a documentary on that today. The Prevost family own this property. The Hermitage was home to Theodosia Bartolo Prevost during the Revolutionary War, where she was married to a British naval officer named James Marcus Prevost. During the war, Theodosia was left to run the farm in the middle of a heavily contested area and through her resourcefulness was able to protect her home when many others in the area were confiscated. Prevost used contacts in Trenton to open up her home to American officers while still maintaining a good relationship with British troops. After the death of her husband, James Marcus, in 1781, Prevost married future Vice President Aaron Burr, whom she met while advocating for the protection of her home. The present Gothic revival design of the Hermitage, which is owned by the state of New Jersey now, dates from an extensive renovation undertaken in the year 1847. So let's take a little walk. This is the second house on the property. It was her brother John's. It was actually down the road a bit and they moved it up from what I understand. Here's the walkway. It was more than 300 acres. If you could see beyond those trees, um, there is a train track that goes right to the Hohokus train station, which is nearby. There's also a little river, which is why they needed a boat. On the opposite side of that river is still their property. Um, the Rosencrantz owns cotton mills. From the time that Elijah Rosencrantz bought the Hermitage in 1807 to the Civil War, mills the nearby Hohokus Brook behind the building provided an income for the Rosencrantz family. This photograph shows mill workers posing in front of one of the cotton mills. Let me show you this photo. Okay, so this is one of the walkways up to this quaint little house. We'll walk this way. We're gonna come up to the boat that the Rosencrantz family used to cross over the river by the rail tr railroad tracks. The daughter was one of the first children to have a Sears and Roebuck bedroom set, which I've seen inside and it's lovely and it came via the train right in back of their house. This was a convenient location for the Rosencrantz family who had the cotton mill because they could import and export from the trains and get it virtually anywhere they wanted. Here's the boat that they used to cross over. Outdoor leisure activities for a Victorian family included croquet, archery, bicycling, swimming, painting, photography, and boating. Um, the Rosencrantz family apparently had a great sense of humor and they showed that in the many and multiple photographs that were taken on the property. So let's go a little further along. 
this house had indoor plumbing, <clears throat> which was unusual for the 1800s. Here's the well. Which was called the well house. William Dayton Rosencrantz, his children, William Dayton Jr. and Mary Elizabeth, and his second wife, Bessie, um, used this well house. And it was also used by travelers along the Franklin Turnpike. The well house harmonized with the gabled roof and Gothic pointed arches of the 1847 Hermitage. Victorians felt that arches represented the loftier moral principles of an earlier day in contrast to the newly developing industrial society. Let me show you a little snippet of the people we were just chatting about. Mr. and Mrs. Rosencrant and Mary Elizabeth and William Dayton Jr. These two posts are where the horses pulled up. And they had hitches. There's the horse hitches right here. Let's saddle the horse to the hitch. And the carriages would pull up right alongside this and the women would step out onto this step because the carriage was high. Um, only visitors entered through the front door. The people who lived there went in the back or the side door. As you can see, there's the Masonic symbol. So, Mr. Rosencrantz was a doctor, and this is where you entered his office. This was the waiting area. This was his waiting area that extended into the house. Take a walk around the back. This part of the house is where they did the majority of their cooking. Unfortunately, it burned down. When they rebuilt it, they rebuilt it with cement and mortar. Um, so that would never happen again. There was a barn to the right beyond those trees, but it also had a fire. This was a, a, a meat house. They used to keep meat inside there to keep it fresh. Here's their garden. And this is where the family would enter. Let me show you the door. State of New Jersey law prohibits pictures inside any of their historic homes. You could certainly take a tour. The Hermitage is located on Franklin Turnpike in Hohokus. And this is the door. As you can see, they're drying out their natural remedies. There's mint and all sorts of things they used to use for medicinal purposes. And that concludes my tour of the home hermitage. I hope you enjoyed it.